Good day, welcome to J4PC. In this video, we're talking about how to create a lower dot theme in your, for your scripture and how you can use it along with your camera. So first of all, you need to set your camera into your easy worship. So you have to, if you have not known how to do this, you can check our previous video on how to import your camera into easy worship. So now the next thing for us to do is to come to theme. And this is song. So we are doing the one for scripture. So this is how it is. If I should set this, right click and set default theme. And I come to my scripture. If I should project any scripture, that will, that's the way they will, be, they will be showing. So if I should come back to this theme and change it to something else, maybe this one, I right click and I set it as default. If I should come to my scripture here, and I show you can see it's changing. So now in this case, we want to talk about how you can create your own custom theme along with your camera. So now, first of all, our camera is set. So as I said earlier, you can check our previous video to know how to bring your camera into Easy Worship. And now let's move down to the business. So first of all, you click on this plus sign here. So you, the first thing, so in case your own is not showing like this, see? So all you need to just click on this inspector. Yeah, it will show. So the first thing for you to do is to give it your own name. So I can call this my team. My team one. My scripture, you can call it my scripture or my Bible. Yeah, my Bible team one. So so that you will not convert it for you the one for music if you want to do your own. So now that we've given it a name, so Oh, the next we are going to work on now is our background. So you can see it says slide. So the slide we are working on is is this. So background. So in this background, you come to this place. You see, no background is selected. We are not going to choose color field, neither a gradient, but we are selecting the one for media, which is the third one, media. So under your media, we have video, we have picture, and we have camera feed. So now when we click on this drop down here, you can see video, image, and feed. So this camera feed. So we select one for camera feed. Now we know our camera has been imported already. So we don't need to click on it. So it has been done. If you check our top, our right top here, you can see that we have our camera here. So that is, it is done. So the next thing is transition. That is to say, if you are working from maybe the Bible verse, from the Bible passage is from Exodus chapter 2 to 7. So we are going from verse 1 to verse 2, verse 3. So the transition that will be coming in between them is what we are talking about. So you have to choose your transition if you want blend, cover, push, iris, whatever. So I prefer the one for wipe anyway. So I'll choose one for wipe. Or best thing, let me leave it as blend. So once you've selected that, you come to apply. So that's, that has been done. So the next thing you are going to work on now is elements. So now you can see that the elements, you have selected the element. So which element am I, am I working on? It's just text. All these are just text. This Bible verse are text. I will click on it. Now you can see that all these things have come out very well. So now to create your lower third, you need to bring this down, either from this top or from this top. So as you wish. So right click on it and bring it down bring it down to your own desire so looking at it you can see and i can lift it up so that it will not be too down so as i want it to be so i can put it down uh -huh, no so now i can select all the text in this and i come to my alignment here and select centralize so they are now all in center so as that has been done for this one as well i can move it to the right i can move it to the center so as you wish so i prefer it to be at the right for me that's good for me so i click on apply since i'm done with that as well so i select this text again and i come to border i come to fill so if i'm talking about fill that is to say you want to fill this your text with um, either color 
or gradient or media so let me just say color or let me just take a media for instance media and then that media maybe it's video so i prefer to use this video then so you can see now that 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 text have a video as a background so you are working on elements not background this background you set here is for the whole of this uh, slide but in this case in elements you are working on those things that are inside the slide which is this text so now we've selected a feed a media feed and we select this video so in some cases i i personally we advise you to choose color feed and you can select something like um maybe black and you bring it down so you just have to reduce the opacity that's the transparency so i'm okay by this so um, let me bring it at 30 then I come to border. So border is talking about the edges of the text. So if there is none here. Yeah, so we click on it. You enable it. Then we come to color. So I'll give it yellow. So you can see now that the yellow is quite okay. It comes out very well. So I can increase it as well. So let me just make it five. Five is okay. So shadow and reflection is nothing serious. You can leave that. Even if you want to work on it, go ahead. All you need to do is to enable it. So you can see, so you just have to enable it and work on it. So now we're talking about text. So the font that is this text here, look at the font that it is in Ta Taoma. So I can let me select the one for area black. So that's the one that I want. And it's telling me now the size. So leave it at auto. Why you should leave it at auto is because you are working on text. You cannot compare Luke chapter 4 verse 18, how plenty it is, to Genesis 1 verse 3, which just says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. You can see there is a very short sentence. In Luke 4 18, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to speak the gospel into the poor, to deliver the captive, all of that. So, if you should compress your text now based on one particular Bible verse, you might miss it all. So just this at auto so that it will work. You know how it will and it will compact itself to fit in your lower third. So that is that. So all you need to do from here is apply and OK. Now we've, we've, we've done our own. So if you right click on this and set this as default theme. Now let's go to our scripture. Genesis 1 verse 3. Now you can see that is me over here. You can see. So if I should change it again, you see that is verse 4. It changes. It changes. So let me make this big so you can see very well. So the more, but look at it very well. We are talking I'm, I'm chapter in verse 7. So verse 7 is quite long. So you have to break it down because you know you've turned into a lower third. So you have break it down. So I need to click on the second slide. For me to continue the chapter seven and the third one as you can see so maybe that of um, first king chapter 18 verse 45 now you can see and it come to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with cloud and wind you can see that it, it stopped here at Everyone was black, but you can look at it area. We still have to continue, so all you have to just click on this one, it will show by itself uh, with cloud and wind. And there was a great rain and air abroad. So you can see the thoughts like click double click on it and went to Jezreel. So, but if you look at um, Genesis 1, Genesis 1, verse 3. You can see it carries everything together and God says let there be light and there was light so it depending on the on the text that you have in that particular verse so there are some texts that will fit in and there are some texts that you need to come here and be selecting them as they are being read as they are being read so if you want to edit anything here now you just for you to come to this thing you can see this is it over here you right click and say 
edit so thank you that's how you can create a lower third in easy worship thanks so if you find this video interesting and it has helped you you can definitely give us a like and give us a comment below to hear from you and this will help us to to do more video for for you and to inspire you the more and don't forget to subscribe into this channel we love you thank you